Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Survivor Influence Without War. I will be your host, as always, Gato Word. And today we're going to explain who our main characters are going to be and a couple of other things that will be happening this season. No challenges will be taking in this episode. Um, no anything that you normally would see is just a couple of little bit of you know like them setting up camp and all that stuff however we're going to be discussing everything that we need to discuss beforehand and yeah we're going to introduce to you the cast probably already seen them and yeah um i'm just gonna answer some uh questions as much as possible of what's gonna go down who's exactly who because some in some cases some people not, not, might not know who some of these people are. So, and that's totally fine. But as you can see, I presented 16 castaways. Um, they will all come in a minute. I just need to bring them out. Um, so I'm just going to mention that this is the first team of Survivor. This is the first tribe. And this is, I believe, I'm gonna, we're gonna call them the Blue Tribe, but they do have a name. The names that I picked up are inspired by actual tribes. This is in no way, shape, or form to make fun of any tribes. This is all in a respectful manner. I just decided to use names in inspiration. Uh, but that being said, uh, any other... If I have ignored something that I don't know uh, about a certain tribe, maybe uh, the tribes that I've mentioned, I'll do more research into it. Maybe we'll make some rename, uh, like rename the tribes. For whatever reason, but in the meantime, from what I've heard, these tribes are not that bad. Um, but anyway, whatever happens, we'll change the name. It doesn't matter. Uh, but we will get into the explanations right about now. This is the Yanomami tribe. Uh, this is the blue team. And this team consists of eight people. As you can see, we have over here. You guys may not recognize them, but... If you give him a certain outfit, if we just do this, it is Terry Joe, <laughs> kinda, the Sims version. But yeah, so this is Psy Iconic uh, from TikTok. If you guys are not, uh, don't know, uh, he does some a character called Terry Joe, which is what he's dressed up as, and it's just incredibly an offensive character in some ways uh it's like a character that is kind of like a karen a christian karen and it's it's, it's kind of funny a little bit but you know <laughs> uh terry joe is just a class act in her mindset and yeah but definitely not a good person <laughs> but yeah uh, it's iconic is the person who plays the character he's pretty chill hilarious and the service was bought in the influencer uh, at war season for sure um over here you might not recognize her at first she's about to dip her toes into the pool i believe uh this is hrh collection uh you may recognize her from her rant and other things she's a memeable person she has been memed to hell and back and recently she's become a mother so congratulations to her by the way on that because motherhood i believe is a beautiful thing and yeah i i just really hope that she's doing well for herself like because she's she's funny as well some people may not agree with the things that she says and that's totally fine but you cannot deny that she is hilarious and i just can't help it because it's just funny to me um over here we have, you may recognize him from Smosh, he is Anthony Padilla. He is the one that actually left Smosh and did his own thing, but he's well known for himself regardless. He, he started doing YouTube videos back in, at the very beginning of um, YouTube, and then he became big on Smosh. Unfortunately, that didn't last for too long uh, because he decided to leave for his reason and that was totally acceptable he, eventually he came back but while he was gone he started to work on his own channel and he had a very big project where he started to talk to other people of their different lifestyles and different uh conditions and different types of things 
and he spent an entire day with those people just to talk about those uh, things. And it was an interesting concept, to be honest. And it, it was very entertaining. Over here, we have another very, very well-known character in the internet. Her name is Trisha Paytas. Also recently became a mother. Um, she's actually uh, recently become a mother of two, um, actually. But she had her biggest redemption on the internet because she was like a huge troll that kind of took it a little bit too, too far. Um, but I believe that after 2022, around that time, she kind of started um, doing so much better and she has proven herself, I believe. Some things I feel like should be considered. I would have not picked her, but I think her redemption story really shows that you can really change as a person. And I want to use her as an example that no matter what you've done, well, it I'll, I'll, depends on what you've done, you know, you can actually improve and do better not only for yourself, but for the people that follow you, the people that believe in you. And you can show them that you can do so much better. And even that will show you that you don't need to be negative to have popular numbers. You will be famous. You will be like, you will be up if you just show kindness. And I believe that Trisha has been kinder as of recently. And she has really shown her growth. And I want to show that here as well. But that's why I put her here. Or honestly, I wouldn't have put her there if, it, if she was like way too problematic, which she was. But I believe her redemption arc really shows, and I want to pursue that, and I want to continue that, because I want more people who have done wrong to improve themselves, and I want this to be an example for those people, that it's not the end of the road if you allow it. If you don't allow it to be the end of the road, you'll be fine. That being said, we're going to move on to one of our also, I wouldn't say too problematic, but kind of problematic <laughs> in some ways. This is Mr. PewDiePie. One of the biggest YouTubers probably ever. Uh, well known for his video game, uh, like his gameplay videos. I don't know exactly what he used to do. I used to watch him for Slender Man way back in 2013 and Happy Wheels. He always put a smile on my face around that time. And yeah, eventually I kind of stopped watching him uh, over the years, but I'm sure he's still a fun guy. I try to make these sims as close as possible as I could, okay, by the way. <laughs> so, if you have any judgments, like, that's not PewDiePie, that's not Trisha Paytas. Okay, this is what I can't do with the Sims, got it? I'm trying my best. It's what I can't do. I'm trying the best as I can to, like, <laughs> to get it just right. But anyway, that is PewDiePie, and yeah, it's, um, he's a very big influencer. Um, now we're going to jump onto someone that I believe not a lot of people are aware of her, but I still include her as one of my favorite YouTubers because she's amazing. Uh, the lovely Jessie Miles. You may not recognize her, uh, but she has had a history of... Uh, she used to have, uh, she started off on Vine, which she's not very proud of. Vine was kind of like a dark time for her, uh, but she shifted from Vine to YouTube, and to be honest, her YouTube channel is so much better. And she used to share story times, uh, a couple of them are very 18 plus. Uh, one of them does include her uh, saying that she fought Sam Pepper, which is good for her. You know, were you there though? And so, yeah, Jesse Smiles. Amazing influencer, amazing person, a great mother to her children, an amazing wife. Yeah, you guys should check her out. Uh, she does have a podcast now with one of her friends, who I forgot her name, and I apologize because I forgot. I'm sorry. Um, but she started off doing that recently, and it's been going good for her. I feel like she enjoys doing what she does, and it's a very nice change of pace for her. So you guys like podcasts, you like... You guys like to talk about things, like hear, hear people talk about certain things? These are your gals. And Jesse's Mouse is an amazing person. Like, give her some love. Um, I will make sure to link down the channels below. And yeah, we're gonna move on to our 
homeboy that I had made and then the next day that I made him he said that he was quitting Mr. Um, <laughs> Mr. Game Fury, Film Fury, Matt Pat. I was gutted when he left. I was destroyed for like a good two days. <laughs> but I decided, you know what? It doesn't matter if he's gone. I feel like he's still an important sta uh, staple to the cast. And he's someone that has really been the opposite of problematic. And I want his shine to reflect upon everyone, so that way people can use him as an example that you can make it far no matter what you're doing. And MatPat, again, he has a, he have had a, a channel called Film Theory and Game Theory, and then it expanded over different types of theories. They had Food Theory, some other stuff, uh, but he was very, very well known for his FNAF theories. People were very into FNAF and so was he and he was your man for that type of video. And yeah, it, he's not doing that anymore, but he still works for them. He's just no longer the face. But yeah, definitely MatPat, an amazing man. Great to have you here. And last but definitely not least, one of YouTube's historic, historic YouTubers, Mrs. The Beautiful Eye Justine, she has been here from the very beginning, and I I say historic, I say historic in a very respectful way, not to make her feel old, because she's not, but she is one of those people from YouTube that she just started off doing her videos, and she was an amazing, she, she was an amazing supporter of Apple, hence the name I Justine. Um, eventually, she actually started getting into technology as time went by. She always been into technology, but she was like a big Apple fan, hence the name. But she expanded her horizons, and now she is like an advocate for a lot of different types of technology. And she's just amazing in that department, and I feel she, I think she kills it. She likes to bake her friend, uh, Rosanna Pancino, which is another YouTuber I've considered for this season, but there will be other seasons, don't worry. Um, but yeah, and she's just a great person in general. I feel like she's like a role model. She's a good role model for a lot of people that you don't have to stand out in in front of people who, you know, you don't feel comfortable. You can just do your own thing and you can stand out just doing that. Just do yourself. Be yourself. I feel like that's why I also like I Justine. She is herself 100% of the time. She's genuine. She's very real and very respectful of others and that's something that i respect of from her um what type of person she really is uh but yeah i'm gonna bring the other uh team over here i'm not going to introduce them just yet but we will get there just in time and we are off all right we're bringing in the other um members of the other the tribe, the I will introduce them when we get to that tribe, so that way I have more time to really explain their uh, story. But let me show you the campsite a little bit, uh, because you haven't seen it. So over here, uh, as you can see, we have some trees, you know, of course, nature. Um, over here, it's like, this is where we're going to have the competitions and all the challenges. That's why I don't have trees in this area, or I don't have a lot of decor. It's just completely empty. There's a reason why. And the reason is, not you. The reason is because I'm, we're going to do challenges, a lot of them require a lot of space, and I want to be able to be free to do that. That's why this lot is empty in this, in this side. But the other side, that's the campsite, and that's what we're going to be exploring right now. So over here, as you can see, we have some stuff for entertainment and for nourishment because you y'all need to eat. So what we have is we have a bonfire, we have a foosball table, we have a don't wake the llama we have a ping pong table which we'll get back into later uh we have some we have some uh little cool fridges like just one of those little thingies that you take outside you know those coolers uh and you know for food and storage and all that crap so they can fit on it too 
Uh, but also we have some sinks over here because they need to wash some dishes. Sadly, I can't just have them throw it in the fucking trash for some reason. And have some showers and don't worry the lot is entirely off the grid they're not gonna receive fresh water or anything of the sort it's all just basically off the grid so you have to like get your own water basically like this is survival survivor you have to survive and these bushes they will be used as basically your toiletries because you don't have toilets in survivor it's just nature but, of course, you need some commodities. You can't just li lie there. And we have some tents over here. I believe two per, uh, two people per tent are allowed to get inside of it. So, yeah. Let's try to get cozy in it. They're all just having a conversation outside. Oh, my God. No one is venturing. Um, I turned off autonomy, I believe. So... Yeah, it's full. They should be able to, like, get inside. Anyway. But... Uh... Let's see. We have... A fishing pond. We have, again, more trees. And we have over here some... Beach towels. And these will are just for relaxing. Because, you know, sometimes you just want to relax. And then, around the island, there's a big pool all over. Because it has to be, like, an island of some sort. Who's floating over here? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that's Jenna! I'll introduce her in a bit, but yeah. Alright, um... Pretty sure HRA she does not know what she's doing. She's just standing there. Uh, but that's not all. We also have an upstairs section. And we're going to introduce to you this area. This is where the tribal council will be held. So, once you lose the challenge as a team unfortunately that does mean that your team is up for elimination so one of your teammates or your tribe mates will be eliminated from the competition and as you can see each one of these torches from here to here and here to here these represent the life of each survivor contestant so once someone is eliminated, their torch will be used, and we will snuff it, and that means that your time here is over. But, of course, we have some new things that we have to talk about. So, not only do we have some twists for that we got from Total Drama, but we got a new one coming up as well. So, we have, over here, the Immunity Idol. This Immunity Idol is what is going to save you from being eliminated if you do what you need to do correctly. As you can see, I mentioned earlier that I was going to talk about the pool table. I mean, not the pool table, the ping pong table. We don't have a pool table. Um, and... A very good example right now. Perfect. This is just this just writes itself. So as you can see, two people have to play ping pong. So there's Matt and there's uh, HRH, the playing ping pong. Whoever wins that will show up on my feet over here, and I will keep tabs on that because the moment I find out who um, wins twice in a row. You can't lose. Okay, so let's say that HRH wins. I don't know who's going to win this match, but let's say that HRH wins. The next time she plays with whoever she's playing, if she defeats that person, she's going to get a chance to find the immunity idol. So she's going to go all the way up here, and she's going to shake this thing called the future cube. The future cube will decide if you get it or not. If the future cube says no, or it's like... In, like hasn't decided at all, like, if, like, gives you, like, a meh answer, then you're not gonna get the future cube. But if it gives you a green light, if it just says yes, then congratulations, you get the immunity idol. However, that's not gonna happen for every single survivor. Uh, like, you, you can't get it all in one episode. So, 
You have to make sure that you're the first one. Oh, map hat. Yeah, HRH won. So if HRH wins again, she gets a chance at the immunity idol. So per episode, per episode, not per uh, season, per episode, each team will get to have the chance to get their immunity idol once per episode. Um, and that's what's gonna keep them here if they if they get eliminated. This is going to be a huge game changer for the competition. Every episode, there's gonna be a new immunity idol. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting season in my opinion. I feel like the immunity idol is gonna play a huge role. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I balanced it out enough so that way it's hard for... The contestants to get it, but not hard enough, you know? Uh, but you may be wondering, well, you know, it's kind of sad because someone that didn't deserve to get eliminated is gonna go home. But that's when this little island that I made over here comes into play. For this season, it's a Redemption Island season. So this little section is called Redemption Island. As you guys may know if you've seen Survivor, Redemption Island is when you get to stay um for a little bit and you have a chance to come back to the competition so as you can see i have a little tent i have a shower i have a bush i have a the same things that everybody else has and just they can't leave this area once i reveal that they're eliminated so uh not that they're gonna get eliminated but i'm gonna say uh pewdiepie uh, PewDiePie got eliminated somehow. We don't know. Oh, By the way, way, beer pong doesn't count. It has to be ping pong. Keep that in mind. It has to be. It has to be ping pong. It can't be beer pong. Um, beer pong. Sorry. <laughs> I'm drunk. Anyway, but in Redemption Island, there will be some challenges that you have to do to stay, and eventually, I will reveal when Redemption Island will be over, and whoever's the last man standing in Redemption Island gets to return to the game and we'll continue to play the game go back to playing the challenges go back to strategizing so on so forth and yeah that's redemption island that's why this little section separated only the survivor that got, got eliminated will be able to enter it anyone else well you can't you can talk through if you want to talk to them you gotta go into the water so there's that anyway um yeah, we got HRAs, you see, like, I'm, I'm gonna start deleting these little things that don't really matter. Unless it's for a challenge, but I'm gonna be keeping the ping pong stats, because that's what really matters to me, in my opinion. I'm gonna let them select for a little bit, and then I'm gonna move on to the next camp, so I can tell you the other contestants, and you can see the other ca uh, camp, and just everything in general. We're going to introduce you the other team and yeah i'll see you guys then all right and we are in the green team or the green tribe but it's also known as the and i might say this wrong because it's been a while the kayapo tribe and the kayapo tribe is the other team that i'm going to introduce to you right now uh, starting it off in the order of how we are selected here, we have Glow Cell. Who, if you don't know who Glow Cell is, she is also an iconic YouTuber from the very beginning. Used to do like some parody videos, but she's mostly infamous, infamously known for her cinnamon challenge video. She used to do a lot of those challenge videos back in the day. They were hilarious each time. And she's still killing it till this day. And she's been a mother uh, as well as of, uh, for a while now, actually. And she is probably one of the oldest contestants here, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how old she is, but she looks great for her age, whatever her age is. She looks great. And yeah, Glossels is here with us. She's a hilarious person, an amazing personality. You guys should check her out. I'm gonna link those channels down below um, as much as they can. I don't know how they're doing currently, but I'm sure that they're doing fantastic. Over here we have a fan favorite. We have Markiplier, very well known for his uh, gameplay videos, The Bite of 87, my guys. He's the Bite of 87 man. 
This is the FNAF connoisseur, Mr. Markiplier. Well known for other things as well, but he's very well known for his FNAF videos and gaming content and some other stuff. He did Unus Anus or Unus Anus, something like that. And it was like for a year. Uh, he did that with his fr uh, great friend Ethan. And he has a good history as well of YouTube. Very well, uh, very friendly, very nice person in real life. Uh, and just a down to earth man, really. He's a fantastic person. Really hard to hate him. Um, over here we have Miss Jenna Marbles, an icon, a jewel, a gem of YouTube, if you will. Jenna Marbles has been a staple in my life, and I love her, and I was destroyed when she announced that she was leaving YouTube. And I respect her decision, still to this day, I very much respect it. I've still got it, though. <laughs> like, it still hurts to know that she's no longer doing YouTube, but she recently got married to her boyfriend at the time, uh, Julian Philomita. A fantastic person as well, fantastic choice for a man for herself, someone she really deserves, she deserves a man like him. And I'm just so glad to hear that she's actually doing very well for herself due to his updates, and I'm just so glad for her, I could, and I try to do her as best as I could, um, look-wise, so, I'm trying my best. Over here we have the man, the legend, Mr., you may know him as Penguins, or you may know him as Moist Critical, some of us know him as Charlie, this is the man right here he was actually requested when i announced to some of my friends what type of season i was gonna do they their immediate response was you need to put charlie in there and i was like he's one of the ones i'm considered anyway so you're not that far-fetched and he made the roster how could i not put him in because such an iconic person also has been on youtube for a very long time um he started off doing dubs he ends up doing commentary now uh, he's a Twitch streamer, and yeah, he's very well known. He <laughs> very well known for his white T-shirts as well, uh, and just glorious hair. That man has glorious hair. And yeah, also he's a native from Tampa, so shout out, shout out to Tampa, which is where I'm currently living at right now. Um, over here we have Justin Minx, a Twitch streamer who I will not be showing you what she's doing because she's using the bush. Uh, but once she's done using the bush, I will present her to you gladly. So, okay, she's done. She is a Twitch streamer as well, been doing it for a good t amount of time. Um, very well known for being kind of like the staple to bully, but not only her audience, but also her peers and the people in her community. She has been bullied to oblivion, but it pays off her brand, you know? Uh, let's, it helps, because, you know, she did reveal that her monetary gains, uh, especially where she lives, it takes a lot of her currency, but despite all of that, um, uh, funny to have, or like, she's just kind of funny to make fun of, you know? And she can take a joke. She's an amazing person. She can really take a joke. She can take a jab. And someone who can take a really well done jab as well is another Twitch streamer. You probably may have heard of him as of recently. Mr. Queso, I really tried, okay? I really tried. But this is Queso. I'm here to devour the competition for sure. And so, yeah, he's here to play, he's here to win. Uh, he is one of those people as well, just like Justin Minx. He's been getting a lot of comments about his uh, body image, but it's nothing that he can't handle. It's all jokes with him and his audience. Uh, it's not meant to really be harmful. At least, it shouldn't be. Uh, but they just do things like that, and that's how they. he became popular. He's funny as hell as well. And he, I, just like Justin Minx, he really can take a joke very, very well. Um, and yeah, he is just hilarious. You guys should check him out if you haven't already. 
you would love his content and the Twitch community. It's just <laughs> they're intense. Uh, we are down to the final two contestants, and we have. Well, currently sleeping. If you've seen Anthony Padilla on the other team, then you may recognize Ian Hecox, who is the other member of Smosh, the other OG from Smosh. Anthony and Ian were the original two. They were the ones that started the channel. It started off with just them, and then it just grew into this big company that it is today. And yeah, uh, Ian Hecox is now part of the Kayapo tribe. And he is just here chilling, he's relaxing, enjoying his life. And yeah. Uh, again, same thing with. Uh, well, he's the one that stood around. He stuck around with Smosh while Anthony was doing his own thing. He stood around, he was the OG that stayed. And he really made that channel flourish with the help of Shane and Courtney and Olivia and everyone else of the cast. Tommy. A lot of those people are amazing people. Damien, like, they're, a, they're, they are talented people. Keith, oh my god, Keith is amazing, I love Keith. And yeah, like, and a lot of other cast members who I can't really name on the top of my head right now, but they're all amazing, they're all hilarious in their own little special way. And yeah, honestly, Ian and Anthony, I'm just glad that they're back. Uh, for this, and we have one more contestant to introduce to y'all, and that is who is sleeping in the wrong tent, Miss Liza Koshi. Uh, so Liza Koshi started off on Vine, she did her thing on Vine, and she shifted to doing YouTube. And then she became more famous, and she started doing Nickelodeon stuff, and she started doing more uh, things, like... He, she started doing interviews at the Met Gala, like, she's been out and about. Life of Koji has really made it far. She hasn't really done much content as of lately, at least to my knowledge. She hasn't really been putting out a lot, but I believe she's just taking a break, which is totally fine, ununderstandable. I just need Ma MatPat have done, not I just need, sorry. Uh, Jetta Marbles and MatPat are also doing just that. Mostly Jenna, who's just not returning at the moment. Uh, Matt Pat, well, he's still working where he's at, but he's just no longer the face of the project. But, oops, sorry for the mic. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, that is the cast of the other tribe. This is the entire cast. That is all of them. As you can see, it's the exact same island as the other one. Same space, same empty space here. Uh, I will be keeping an eye out on the immunity idols. I know that Anthony played again. I know he won the first time, uh, but uh, he actually lost the second time. So that means, so since he lost, he will be, oh, he's not eliminated, but like, okay, here, let me show you the evidence. So over here, you can see winner, Anthony Padilla, loser, Christian Paytas. That means that Anthony Padilla would have had a chance to play one more time and win. Unfortunately, when he played again against Jenna, he lost. So now Jenna has basically stolen his chance. And now once she plays again, she is going to earn her chance once more. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how the game is going to go. Any other twists and ch uh, changes that I need to make, they will be added on later on. I will announce them, but at the moment... This is the cast, this is the island, this is all the start of what I think is going to be an incredible journey. And I'm very much excited to share this with y'all, because I love doing this series so, so much. Oh, they're using the campfire ceremony. Just, they're just chilling over here. What is this, a possible alliance? What's this? I don't know. They're already holding their own tribal council. It's crazy. But, yeah. Uh, this is the cast, this is everything, and yeah, we're not going to do challenges today, we're not going to do anything, no one's getting voted off, this is just an introduction to the players, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> anyway guys, we're going to leave it at right here, uh, we will be discussing more about their strategies and their gameplay as we go and move forward but for now this will be your first episode of uh this is the introduction of the season i hope you guys enjoy redemption island uh if 
definitely going to be a very important stable of the game. Uh, as well as the immunity idols. I feel like the immunity idols are really going to be the carry, the hard carry of this season. Um, so, yeah. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode and giving the support. If you did, much appreciation. I really love enjoying. I really enjoy doing these. It, like I love doing this. It's one of my favorite projects to do. Uh, but that being said, guys, I will leave it off here. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop yapping. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.